All right, so this is the, I like to do the top. I set the cams, bank one, bank two. Right away, I see this one is off by one third. So this mark and adjuster should be in here. So we have to jump one third out and left. And this side, it's pretty close. So here's the groove right here. And yeah, this one is good, but that one is off. So it's point right in the, this corner should be somewhere around here. I'm assuming that's where I should move to this side. Uh, so this is exhaust side off and that exhaust side off as well. Both of them. That's why I have a misfire when I start first start the car. I thought it's uh, uh, because O2 sensors I don't have it. And plus I have uh, selectors, bad selectors. I changed them and still got misfire. And as I said, you can clearly see somebody did something on a bank to head. It's not, look how much silicone they put it. And uh, this is the original one, nobody opens, but it's still off. So, better to be safe to, you know, redo the whole timing and make sure it's in the right position. Keep you guys posted. So as you see, it's a flat surface. There's anything groove, anything like that, same as here. And when this adjuster sits on a camshaft, it's pretty much it can spin anywhere, right? I know you can type by the specs, but let's say if the car was sitting for a couple months or so, it could spoon cam a little bit. That's what we came with. <clears throat> uh, on my car, it happens. Both of them is off, and both of the exhaust side. Friend of mine who gave me that idea that it could be uh, because of the crank in the lot. Let's say you swap the engine; and it's, there's no fuel, or anything, and no oil. <clears throat> First cranking, you're doing like what minute, two minutes until the fuel reaches to the engine. So those first starts could affect somehow this freaking thing i know the craig engine the new generation they put like uh some kind of grooves so i think it's not gonna you know move around uh fortunately on this engine i don't see anything just keep in mind so what i'm gonna do i believe the uh, audi specs is 80 newton meter and 90 degrees turn I would do 95 and 90 degrees turn. So I'm gonna type a little bit more than it says in the spec, just for in case. So that's what I'm saying, I said before, you have to clean this really good. Use degreaser or something, I use brake, uh, brake cleaner. Both of them, clean really good, make sure no oil, I still have jeep here, so I have to clean up. And inside as well, this one I already clean it, but this one still got the oil and shit. So I have to clean it, degrees. Make sure we got intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, okay? And, uh, yeah, and uh, put it on a, on a camshaft, hand tight, release the uh, tensioner, set everything to the timing, make sure, you, you know, front of the camshaft is set on the timing as well, top dead. And uh, hand tight and the timing, and then uh, do the by the specs. Like I said, I'm doing 95 newton meter uh, and then 90 degrees. Uh, yeah, a little bit more than spec said. So I don't want to, don't want this happens again. This one I set already, it's perfect. That's how the specs showing. Nice and tight. Let's do this one. Okay, so I set this one too. Uh, exhaust cam and the side of the groove over there. Pretty much this corner. And intake, it should be like between middle 
and this right corner but i'm pretty close to the middle maybe a little bit more to the left side which is i'm assuming it's fine the tension is released it's a hand tight now what i would do before you tie to the specs just give a little bit you know small tight still hand tight with the ratchet just a little bit not too much so it's not gonna move anywhere okay and then you use the, all the tools to do correctly tight with the specs so you're using this you hold it in here then you put the socket in here and just you know do your thing uh, let's see how many pins I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Eleven pins. Let me mark this. Uh, where's my white marker? Marker. All right. So you, you have idea. Hopefully, this will be perfect. All right. Sure, you clean from inside adjusters and and the cam itself with the kind of, I don't know, I use the brake, uh, brake cleaner to just get all the grease and oil out of the camshaft part and from inside the adjusters. So we try to tight when it's, everything's dry. So here's your mark. This is the intake mark and this is the exhaust. And here is your adjuster side mark. So it should be like corner of this, I would say over here. And the other one, here's the mark, somewhere in the middle. Remember, this is hand tight. You have to release the uh, tensioner so that the chain is actually compressed. And from now you have to tight with the two tools. You can't just tight the bolt. You have to hold this really nice with this tool, one hand you hold this adjuster, in the other hand you tighten the bolt by specs. Like I said, I'm not. I gotta take a look. I think it's 80 uh, newton meter, and plus 90 degrees. I will do 95, like 15 more, to just you know make sure they sell, uh, sealed pretty good, and not gonna have any more issues again. So this is the. Uh, bank two adjustment one more time you can go by the pins too one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh oh, fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen eighteen pins all right so exhaust in the middle of that okay so i did uh, like three four revolutions of the sp you know, spin the engine uh make sure the timing is correct so as I said, yeah, this corner is in here. That one should be like close to the middle. It's perfect. And that one should be in the corner here and in the middle down here. So yeah, they're all good. Cams should be straight. Yeah, they are straight position. And this side, where is it? Yeah, right here. They both good. So yeah. Here is we fixed the timing. So it was off by one third and the driver's side and one third and the passenger side. It's crazy. That's why it's misfires, I guess, because <clears throat> I thought it's misfires so because of the O2 sensors. Alright, I'm happy it's uh not really big jump, just one. Uh, so that's probably like minus 20 degrees or something, which is good. It's not touching the valve. That's the most important stuff. All right, let's put it back and start the engine. Make and hopefully everything's gonna be fine.